Ah! Who just touched me? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lock that. And I'm gonna tell you all, what's up everybody? My name's CJ Faison, first and foremost. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. I go all across the country for you all, filming the, some of the like craziest haunted spots that you've ever seen. Well, tonight I am back at one of the haunted spots that I've been to before and I promised you, my friends and my family that I would never come back to. And I also promised Sonny on our friendship that I would not come back here, but I was crossing my fingers because I had a feeling one day that I would have the urge to come back. Well, most of you know, this is the Honeycutt Farm House. I bought a farm that was uh, of a lot of terrible stuff happened at way, way, way before I bought it. And um, yeah, this happens to be one of the buildings on the property is this house. So as most of you all know, Sunny had some wild activity in here. Um, I literally have not even cleared the house. So I, I really need to go through here. Um, it's it's been about a month and a half almost two months since we last filmed here on my property and I'll be honest with you it's uh, it's been about that long since I have even thought about coming here but um, really quick before I get into this video I just want to let everybody know that um, Looks like I'm... All right, so kind of cleared the house there, but I just want to let everybody know um, one thing. I am here alone, unfortunately, tonight. Uh, Sonny will not come back. He will not come back after what happened in part five of, uh, you know, kind of season two at the Honeycutt Farm here. He, he just won't. He will not come back. He won't step foot on the property. He refuses to do anything that has anything to do with the Honeycutt Farm. Can I say I blame him? No, not really, but I can tell you this, that he's, he is deathly, deathly, deathly terrified of this place. And um, I probably should be as well, but um, tonight I am spending the night inside of the Honeycutt Farmhouse. Will I go down towards the actual big barn where all of the crazy and, and sadistic stuff happened? I don't know. I don't really feel all that safe going down there alone, but I can tell you this, that... Uh, uh, tonight is going to be a lot of investigating in this house. We did find multiple weapons here in this house. And uh, one being um, that machete right there that you can see. Um, you know, and, and uh, one of the parts uh, that we filmed here, that was, that was found. There's also a gun found on the wall. If you want to go check out what exactly happened, like the follow-up of that gun, the link to that video is in my description. And uh, that basically... Pretty much sums up um, what happened. Now that's on my vlog channel, so if you don't follow me on there, go hit that up as well. Uh, but tonight I'm gonna set up camp here. I'm all alone, and um, I feel pretty safe here. I, I don't feel safe going back down there to the big barn. I really don't. So um, I'm just gonna kind of sit up here. Uh, it's really tough to navigate to the farm. I will say that it's like it's honestly nearly impossible. The grass is like this tall. Uh, it's super dark outside. I've only got one light with me right now. I've got one extra, but uh, I really want to focus on this house tonight. So without any further ado, let's get going. Now, I thought I heard a noise back here. I kind of tentatively cleared the house. And you can hear that new highway in the background. It's, um, it's, uh, it's definitely closer. <laughs> than what I thought. It's only about a half a mile away. So somebody on the video said, I'm just gonna go ahead and rip that off. 
somebody in the comment section actually had noticed something down here about this trap door. They said when I opened that up that um, there was something hidden in there. I personally didn't see it, but also they were talking about that there might have been a bullet in the wall. I'm not exactly sure. I've got a couple of things that I'm going to do here tonight. Number one being uh, the SLS or SRS camera. I cannot remember what it's called. Um, there's there's uh, the Necrophonic. I'm going to also do that as well. But um, I'm here to seek... I'm here to seek the craziest answers that probably should not be asked. But I'm going to ask them. I'm going to ask you really tough, deep and dark questions. And um, the fact that our spirit box led us to... Uh, a gun in the wall blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind to no end. Um, again, kind of following up, you guys can go check that video out in the description. Um, the hell? Hello? Hello? So, what is that? Forty-three, twenty-seven, eleven. Why have I never seen this before? really doesn't look like a great bag to have. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started here with the with the spirit box. Um, nothing to me looks out of place here, but um, I mean, pretty th pretty much everything seems the same. There's a, there, I mean, I've heard a creak here or there and a noise here or there, but like nothing off the top over the wall. Um, okay, I don't remember that. Gosh, damn! I have no idea what this is. First, I want to kind of open this up with a, um, a spirit box section because, I mean, Sonny and I's response that we got um, a couple months ago was so, so, so clear, so precise. So I want to do that again, and um, I want to try a couple of things out by answering some really, really tough questions 
and um, I, I'm gonna have to break out my external charger here for my phone because it's, it's gonna die. I'm at 20% right now. So uh, let me open up with a, um, a, a, a pretty detailed spirit box session here. Maybe just get a little bit closer. I don't even know if like I'm in frame or not. But uh, so my name's CJ. I'm actually the owner, the new owner of this property. Uh, I've never formally introduced myself. There are any spirits here tonight. I want to tell you that you cannot attach yourself to me, my camera, and my book bag. Nothing that I have. Um, you are only allowed to stay here. One thing I do want to mention is that I am here to get some pretty riveting and hardcore answers. I understand that. Um, you led my friend Sonny and I a couple of months ago when we were here. Uh, you, you led us to a, a, an actual gun, murder weapon, in the wall. So um, if there's anything else left in this house, I'd really like to know about it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this spirit box session. And you, you can feel free to communicate with me or not, and uh, we'll go from there. Look here. Look where? In the floor? I want the name of the person who was possibly killed by that machete. Can someone tell me the name of the person that was killed in this house? Was there anybody killed? Were there multiple people killed inside this house? Ten? Can you confirm that you said ten? How many people were killed in this house? Ten. Holy shit. That literally is so precise. Gun? Yes, we found a gun in here last time. Is there any other murder weapons in this house? Where did one of the killings happen inside this house? Are you a, are, are you a spirit that wants to move on, yes or no? spirit box session for one second because I wanted to um, wanted to actually check out the uh, the attic hang on a second here because that is actually one place that I that I did not clear was the attic. Hello? Hello? Alright, I'm not exactly sure what I heard, but it almost sounded like a knock. And I've, I've been hearing things like up there in the attic. If there's a spirit with me right now, can you make yourself known? Can, can you let me know that you're here? Can you make a noise of some sort? Not. 
so I'm, I'm getting like mixed signals here. Like I'm hearing, it, it was like this the last time that Sonny and I were here for the series that we did over that one weekend. It sounded like there was stuff upstairs. It sounded like there was stuff below us uh, in, in all kinds of rooms. The craziest thing that I think has probably ever happened was that we were standing here and I was trying to, to end my video and... and, and I gotta do something here. Okay, I'm gonna set this right here for just a second. Um, I don't know what that was, but I, I literally keep hearing things over and over and over and over, and I'm not exactly sure what they are, so I gotta clip this, because I think this um, this hit one of the doorways and it's kind of freaking me out here. Um, one of the things that happened was those three doors shut all at one time, or it sounded like it was all at one time, but it was like, bam, 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 and, and you hear three bangs, and, and when we, sw I mean, when we swung around and, and, and saw that those, all of the doors were slammed closed, and you go in each door, and, and there's nothing in there, there's nobody in there, it, it, I don't even know how to explain it, but um, still freaks me out to this day. Um, but uh, it got really cold all of a sudden. Really, really cold. It's um, it's cold tonight, folks. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to go check the attic next. But uh, ADD is kicking in right now. Um, I just want to let everybody know that you can go and get these hats at shopmotivated.com. And uh, we also have beanies, stuff like that. So you go check that out. Use my promo code, CJFaceNet at checkout. Remember, shopmotivated.com is my brand. And uh, that's how you support me on these road trips and travel. What in the world's on my fingers? All right, so. All right, looks like it's the same as it was. So the last time that I was in this house, um, that board, it was actually propped up like that. What is this? I don't ever remember that being on the thing. Hello? Is there a spirit here with me that's trying to get my attention? Comment below if those things were there the last. Hello? The door's still locked. I'm gonna get the spirit box out and just see if anything would like to communicate.
Something said rug. Is there something under that rug I need to know about? Is there something under this rug? Some of my viewers said that somebody might have died here and the police took the carpet for evidence. Is that true? Did somebody die in this room? Wow, it said blood. Who died in this room here? Who died in this room? Can you tell me? Shot him? Who was shot in this room? Can you give me the name of somebody who died in this house? Rob Brown? Is that what I just heard? In the room with you? It looks like there's actually some scratch marks too. Are these scratch marks right here that I'm looking at? Who just touched me, please? Please tell me. Oh! Who touched me? Who's trying to get my attention? This spirit box is super active and there was said on the previous spirit box session right over here said there was 10 people that died in this house. I've never heard the spirit box like this. Can you tell me why these carpet squares are cut out? Died? Okay, tell me a spirit, tell me a person who died in this room. Who died in this room? Film me. Film me? Well, I can't film you if you're not actually in in actual human form. Almost sound like dot dot. Did a did a child die in this house? Two? Can you confirm that is two? Run? I keep hearing the child's voice. Was there a child? Is there a spirit of a child present right now? Oh my gosh, that literally sounded like the damn oven. Oh my gosh. Yes? yes? Who moved the oven? Me? Well, what's your name? Can you tell me your name, please? Who just moved the oven? Now you all want to be silent? Did something not happen in this room? Was it somewhere else? The last time that I was here with my friend Sonny, burn came across the spirit box. Did somebody, did something happen with the oven?
Hello? The spirit box is not active over that way at all. The more I get back here to this room, like I'm being drilled into this room. See how much more active the spirit box is now? I want to know what happened in this room. Was there someone who passed away in this room? Were, were, how, how were you killed? You can tell me. I'm just telling your story to the world. That's all. Sophie? Who is Sophie? Did Sophie die in here? Gun. Said gun. That's where we found the gun right there in that wall. Slow? Did Sophie die a slow death in this room? Burn? Okay, that's the third time I've heard burn. Who burned in this house and where? Okay. All right, here's what's going to happen here, folks. I am on. I don't know how to explain this. I have got to go pee so damn bad I can't even hold it anymore. I'm pausing the camera. I will be right back. Okay, so I just sat in pure silence here in the living room for 30, maybe 40 minutes. I don't even know how long that clip was that I just recorded. Um, I did not hear a thing. Not a single thing. The only movement that I heard or only noise that I heard was the one that I made myself when I repositioned my body. That was it. Other than that, um, I, I, I wanted to do that 30 minute clip to just see, can, can I hear a disembodied voice? Can I hear any footsteps up in the attic? Can I hear anything below me here on the main floor? Does the door close again? I mean, w what exactly happens? So at this point, I think it's safe to say that um, I, I want to uh, want to try something else. Most of you who watch my videos, you'll understand what this box is that I'm bringing out right here. Um, it has my name on it now because um, the people who make this, they don't necessarily uh, pay me to advertise for free for them. So uh, basically, I, I just kind of put my logo on there. But um, another reason why I did this is because some of the locations that I go to, um, they actually offer, uh, like, if you pay to go to, like, uh, Pinhurst Asylum, uh, you know, they have the, all the same equipment. Um, and oftentimes I would use it and they'd be like, hey, is that ours or that yours? And I'm like, it's mine. So now you can't, now you can't get that wrong. So anyway, I'm going to use this PMB box. Most of the activity and, and I think most of the heavy feeling that I felt here tonight, I felt very, very heavy. Um, I'm going to point this in the direction of those bedrooms in that bathroom right there. I really feel like something happened in that bath, in that bedroom. Uh, so again, this PMB box, as most of you know, only has about a five foot range. It only goes off when you make motion in front of it. Uh, if there's no motion in front of it, it, it will not do anything. So, as you can see, it's motioning the ground. Now, when it's in the air, there's nothing in front of it moving. Trust me when I say this, when this thing goes off, it has detected something. It's pretty wild. So, I'm gonna set this up right here. And, Pointed in that direction right there. Now, mind you, nothing is in this room. So I'm thinking there's something to do with this room right here.
Okay, maybe it just needed to be reset there. That's very strange. I've had it constantly go off before. Okay. Turn it off. All right, cool. All right, so the only way that that thing's gonna go off there is if something makes motion in front of it. So I'm gonna leave that be right there. Um, let me just make sure that I can get that in the shop. Okay, cool. All right. I'm gonna break out. Uh, This here is, is going to be the room that I'm sleeping in tonight. Um, I just feel like uh, it's a little... Alright, I'm pretty sure I heard something, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, sound a little like a footstep or... Almost sounded like it was down there in that thing. Um, in that little break, but it only goes down about a foot, a foot and a half. Uh, I want to break out the, um, I want to break out the necrophonic again, and uh, do a quick session in here. I'm going to see if I can invite it. Did that thing just go off? If there's a spirit here with me, can, can you walk in front of that black box down there? and make that go off. I'm gonna start up the spirit box again. I wanna see if I get any answers. I'm, I'm like almost certain I'm hearing something. Hello? Is there a spirit in here with me? I mean, it almost sounds like it's above me, but it's not. I, it's like, I, I don't know if it's just because the house is so empty that it echoes, no matter like where you're at. That's in the attic. That door is still locked. I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yep. That's still locked. But the noise is, it's actually in the attic. But there's nothing in the attic when I checked earlier.
Okay, well. We're just gonna, uh, when I say we, I'm talking about you and me. We're just gonna kinda chill here for just a little bit. And, um, oh, I do have my name back here with me. I just sat on it. Perfect. All right, I just. Oh, it's my shadow. Damn. Yeah, okay. So I gotta get away from that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this right here against the wall, and I'm gonna move away from it. That's weird. That is very weird. Holy shit, y'all. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is nuts, okay. Can you walk in front of it again? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is nuts. All right, I'm walking in front of it now. Okay, look at this. Nothing in the room is moving at all. Except for the blinds. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is amazing evidence right here. Okay. Can somebody walk in front of that again? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Can someone do it again? Walk in front of that. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is nuts. Absolutely nuts. It's almost like somebody is like pacing back and forth in front of that thing. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, I mean, I'm telling you, it's like somebody pacing back and forth, back and forth. That is incredible right there. Absolutely incredible evidence. So here's what I want to do. I want to take a... Hello? All right, very strange. All right. Um, I think what I want to do is this. I want to, I want to end up setting this facing here. I'm going to turn all this back on. But this here, this is where I'm going to... This is where I'm gonna sleep in here tonight. This is the most active room. And to me, it's, it's um, oh, the spider web, okay. Um, to me, this is the most active room. So what I wanna do is I wanna be able to be in here and have this stuff set up. So first of all, if any activity is gonna get caught on camera while I sleep, there's gonna be right there, that PMB box and the EMF meter. If they run out of battery through the night, and this does too, then so be it. But I'm telling y'all right now, this room right here has a lot, has a lot to it, okay? Not only did we find um, that weapon literally buried into the wall, but we also had found the machete in that there. It's still there. Um, a lot of you all got on me about, um, you know, the, the machete and me leaving it here and, and not turning that in. But I told the police about it, and, and if you go into the link in my description, I explain every single bit of that, of why that is still in here. It was no interest to them, um, because it, it just, I don't know. They said that they didn't need it. They were going to take that and, and process whatever. But uh, I won't spill the beans on that. Link's in the description. Go watch it on my vlog channel. Now, I do want to get something across here. 
Um, a lot of you all pointed out in, in my uh, previous video <clears throat> a couple months ago that this square right here and that square there were cut out. And the reason why a lot of, uh, a lot of things happen like that is because uh, it's possibly somebody bled through the carpet. Now, I cannot tell. I'm, not, I'm no forensic scientist or anything, but it doesn't look like any blood stains on there. But again, there is the carpet and then the padding under the carpet. So, uh, you know, very well. It's a perfectly cut square, which, you know, a lot of people are led to believe in myself too, is that this carpet square was cut out for evidence purposes to collect blood samples, forensic, all that good stuff. Um, somebody also commented that they wanted me to look around the room. They wanted me to see. Now that there, I'm not exactly sure if that's like a pee stain or that's maybe like a dried blood. I'm not exactly sure. But um, supposedly when someone does pass away in a house and there's a lot of blood, they will cut the carpet out of where that person was. So um, that's honestly why I think this room is so active is because of that. To me, this creeps me out more than anything, being here alone and now having so much activity in this room and having just, to, to me, it's, it's crazy. The weapon found in the wall, the carpet square is cut out. This is where I'm gonna sleep tonight. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna set up for uh, you know me to technically try and fall asleep. I probably won't get much sleep at all, but um, hopefully I can. And what I wanna do is be able to um, maybe set up my camera uh, straight ahead, filming inside here in this room. I'm probably just going to prop myself up against this wall right here. Uh, might be the easiest thing to do. So, uh, again, guys, drop drop a like on this video. I'm here alone for you all. I'm doing this for not only myself, but for you as well. And, uh, you know, being able to come and give you all content like this, uh, you know, when a time uh, that we're all going through where a lot of people are still at home. So my company is Motivated Eyewear and uh, we not only have apparel and stuff, but it's, it's my job to motivate and inspire all of you to go out and do something bigger and better than what you think you can do because, you know, possibilities are endless and opportunities are out there. You just got to create them for yourself. I wanted to kind of leave you off on that kind of a positivity note. I'm not ending the video, but for this clip here, I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to get set up to uh, go to sleep. As you can see, the EMF meter is still on. And uh, just want to say much love to all of you. Let me go get my book bag and uh, I'm going to set all this up. Okay, so I'm going to try and catch some shut eye. I don't even know if I'm in frame right now. The camera is literally sitting on the floor. Um, one thing that I want to do is I want to turn on the PNB box. Uh, it is facing this direction right here. Um, if it goes off, it's great. If not, no big deal. But. Um, I, I, I really wanted to reiterate this because I have caught some crazy evidence tonight, in my opinion, um, with not only this room here, but um, kind of unfolding the story out a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna try to sleep, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Test it, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, the EMF meter is right here as well. Uh, I've got my book bag right back here. I'm gonna kind of use that to hopefully catch some shut eye and lean up against. Um, oh, nasty, dirty carpet. Oh, gosh. I'm going to put my hood up like this, too. I'm like a lot terrified right now to even remotely try and go to sleep. Um, like every little noise, I'm going to be freaked out. I already know, but um, it's part of it, right? So um, I'm freezing. My hands are cold. Um, my hands are, are so cold. You, you know, like whenever you're like, it's really cold outside and you're trying to text and everything slow motion, like my whole body feels like that, but especially my hands right now. Um, all right. Make sure that my foot does not make that go off. Okay. Because that is um, technically the, the sensor inside that is like a, a literal straight line. So, I don't know. So there's no way. Yeah, I can't make that go off on accident. So, good. All right. So, I'm going to try and catch some shot eye.
I just thought about something. I didn't know if the um, front door was lock locked. I checked it, um, but something in my brain told me to go check it again. So <clears throat> that's what I did. Thank you.